Hey data fans, Reed here. Today I'm going to show you a super quick tip on writing your DAX code that will make it a lot easier to comment out code when testing filters. A simple choice of moving the comma location from here to here I think will really be beneficial for you. So let's go ahead and hop into Power BI and get started. So I have in front of us a standard DAX calculation that really is just using calculate with a series of filters that are being applied in there as well and a little bit of formatting. Now as a developer one thing you want to do is you want to be able to test what the number does and how it changes if you are applying filters and see how those filters might affect it. Now in its current form if as an example I was to come in and comment out this last line here at the bottom and try to execute this you'll notice that it's erroring out because at the end of it over here I have a comma there so it's expecting a fourth argument for a filter context in here. Now there's a different way that we can write this ever so slightly and place the commas that will actually make this even easier. Let me show you. I'm going to come over here to my actual metric and if you notice all of the commas are now actually on the left per each line. So now if I actually was to come out and comment this out to take away that one filter to see how the numbers change and hit execute, it will still run. So the comma placement at the beginning of each new row that is corresponding to any types of filters in calculate or other calculations just means that it actually is going to be a little bit easier now to be able to comment out or remove parts of it if you're trying to do testing without having to delete and change it a little bit uh, more thoroughly if you were doing it the other method. And like I said, this is a really quick tip, but I do think that as a developer, I've found that I've started to actually write them a lot more this way just because, again, it makes it a lot easier to comment and I think it does allow you to then do much faster iteration through testing as you're building these out. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. Plus, if this is your first time to my channel or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. So until next time.